Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to the complicated mess that we call RimWorld. <laughs> Just kind of looking things over here. I spent some time laying out a good chunk of the beginning of the base over here, and yeah, that's that's the complicated part. We've got our, oh, I think it was Vort. That'll be uh, coming in soon. We'll figure all that out, and everyone's pretty much sitting in the same spot that we left last time. So we're still scattered out and about picking up things and bringing them in. Klaus is going to head off and start digging the graves. And we've got to clean up this mess and get back to what we were doing. And speaking of what we were doing, I went ahead and laid out quite a few things that uh, uh, we talked about last time but never got to, including moving the, the one stool over to the butcher table and putting in the, the storage racks inside the bedrooms instead of, of doing the some of the things I had started to do before we still need to take out these guys um where to start i'm gonna leave it pause for a moment let's start over here i laid out everything best i could come up with this is still uh, long term so even the stuff i've marked to dig is still many episodes away from actually being dug out so a lot of this is still changeable i'll explain to you what i've done if you see a flaw in it let me know basically um, hunting animals into this area over here so extending beyond and into here double walled on the outside and some kind of an airlock going in so that's all kind of in this void right here digging out just enough to get us to the the hot air chase that heads in that the walk-in freezer taps into right here to exhaust heat this is the the walk-in part with the uh, uh, airlock into it into what I wasn't planning on doing before but I'm going to now I walk in refrigerator um, I'm gonna say hydelium or hydelium I can't I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced uh, asked a question in the comments that I didn't have an answer for we were watching that one time and I asked you guys what you thought and nobody has really come up with an answer yet why Shantigo insisted on heading out there to get I think it was strawberries at the time when there were strawberries in here and potatoes and rice and whatever and this was closer i was asking if it was if it had to do with the quality this one's a 53 out of 60. these i can't check the quality because they're frozen well i guess this just came in no it's a 58 out of 60. so even when they're frozen it still shows you the uh, the degradation okay so was he heading off for a fresher one or what and so the thought came in could it have been because these are frozen and these weren't so i'm used to alpha 13 you guys let me know does frozen food have a bearing on what is more desirable to cook with does he want to cook with something that's not frozen in which case the first one available was clear out over here now the first one available is sitting right over here and slowly starting to spoil but you know was that an issue if so and even if not i thought for realism really you don't grab you know a frozen uh wild boar roast and throw it into the pan and start cooking over here you get something that's been thought out so what i think i'll do is i'll make a walk-in refrigerator right here with a an airlock going in from both sides of the kitchen so stove 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 airlock airlock refrigerator and then no airlocks needed from fridge to to freezer right in here just just a doorway and set these priorities to the highest priority for vegetables and meats set this to the next priority down and put the the animals over here so that they'll whenever the cooks use up some foods out of the refrigerator who were set to hauling will wander over and drop another stack in once in a while and refill this one from here and or they'll make the trip on through from here i don't know we'll, we'll see the the finer details later but basic, basically a walk-in freezer a walk-in refrigerator two pathways into a three stove kitchen pathway down out of the kitchen into a meal refrigerator exhausted the heat out into here and then a, this is basically a dining room with what did i mark that let's do this with a pathway in to the refrigerator where the uh, meals are kept that the kitchen drops off or the diners go and grab it and sit down and eat it 
main hallway over here, pathway up into the kitchen. Quite often, though, uh, they're probably going to walk through the walk-in fridge. I don't know. We'll see. Airlock, airlock, in case they do. And then main hallways down here, down both sides of a bedroom complex over here. And basically, the inner walls were going to be taken out and rebuilding with wood or stone or something anyway, just for a beauty uh, boost, rather than seeing the raw walls. So it's kind of really hard to define the bedrooms here. We're just going to take it out in pieces and then build interior walls through here. Um, maybe we'll go through and build interior walls through the dining room as well. Don't really need to in any of the refrigerators. You may do it in the the uh, kitchen. We'll, we'll see how the, the beauty rating goes. We're going to put in the sterile flooring in here, and I would imagine there is a beauty rating that goes with that. Sterile tile. Um, sterile tiles help keep the room very clean, uh, useful in hospitals to prevent patients from getting various infections. I'm thinking the same thing for food poisoning. Ought to be a logical conclusion. Uh, natural in terms of looks and very slow to build. So that means uh, neutral for beauty. Okay. So that won't help the beauty at all. But then I think these were neutrals too, weren't they? So grab that. Yeah, this is a neutral also. And the stone floors. Those were a plus two stone floor. We have them over here. Those are a plus one. So we do get a little bit with a stone floor. Okay. Turn that off. So that covers the majority of what's been designed so far. So bedrooms, let me get down this wing. We've got to get into a hospital. And figure out just how to do that. Of course, individual bedrooms are better as far as being interrupted from sleep and, and whatnot, but individual uh, hospital rooms, but we'll figure that part out. Um, otherwise, eventually getting into some kind of a prison, some kind of a more bedrooms, and maybe more bedrooms, and some kind of production area with storage with the beacons, uh, the orbital beacons in the in there to sell off the stuff that we're making or storing. So there's a lot more designing to go, but you kind of get a sense of the flow of what's going on so far. And this is, you know, I would have designed just a rectangle, but we may as well make use of this space, so I went ahead and filled it in. Um, though there was the idea I brought up, and now I've just realized that I haven't done that, of some way to automatically have turrets in some of these places in case we have an infestation. Maybe I'll be looking at a chase down the center of this area here with a door that can be opened that would normally be locked closed at each turret in each bedroom. And if there is an infestation, we'll walk down the chase, open up that door and leave, and the turret will start shooting until it's overwhelmed, and then we'll, I don't know. So there will be somehow chases running parallel to some of these things that have turrets in them turned off until they're needed. That's a thought. But again, we're several episodes away from actually digging into there. We may start chipping away a little bit over here. I have a feeling we're going to just finish chipping away over here and deal with our bugs. But right now we need to let this thing go and get Vort in place and get uh, these pieces picked up and hauled away and a grave or two dug and get these guys buried and Lots and lots of things to do. You guys are bringing in the weapons that were out here. And Klaus is going to go dig at that. We've got a Vort being dropped off. And we've got to decide what to do with Vort. Now, that I've got to figure out. We've got a long list of people that want to be in the game. Inspiration, go frenzy. We'll come back to that in a second. A lot of people that want to be in the game. We've got a long list. But everybody wants, you know, to be a great character with lots of interesting skills and abilities and, and not the, uh, you know, the, the troublemaker of the colony. So, you know, people at the bottom of the list are saying, yeah, just get somebody on there so it's closer to my turn. But the one who's next is going, oh, come on, I get stuck with that one. So, yeah, I've got to, to weigh this in and out. Now, do realize I'm looking at long term on this series. This is not a 40 episode series. This may... For all I know, hit 200 episodes. I don't know. Because um, you can see we're not making a lot of progress each episode. But also I'm looking at probably running a couple of different colonies out of this eventually. So we could have a stack of colonists this wide across the top of the screen for each colony by the time we're all done. So, you know, think long term when we're, when we're coming up with all this. But let's take another look at Vort. Before Tomislav gets the order... 
heck with Fort. I'm going to go relax socially. All right, Fort, what do we got here? We've got character of. So you're the psychopath. Prostophobe is no problem. Unless you're missing a bunch of arms and legs. And then it's a bit of a problem. Um, health. You're missing a nose. But, and you've already got a pig leg. Prostophobe. You do not want any prosthetics. So your needs are already... Okay, a pig leg doesn't count. Okay, but we can't get you in a, bi a bionic leg to fix that leg later so that you can move around faster because you'll have a huge negative in there each time or for, you know, every day. So that's a problem. Be like, I don't know what the negative would be, but it'd be like having a negative 20 kind of, I just, <laughs> I just saw the pop up there in shop. In shock from exceptional pain, negative 20. Ah, kill me now. Uh-huh, we got to get for it taken care of. Health-wise, lots of medicine, but nothing permanent. It's all repairable to an extent. The shattered rib, though, is, is permanent. Uh, the peg leg is obviously permanent. And we've, we've shot a poor peg leg three times on top of it. <laughs> Um, gotta get Vort, it's a she, taken care of soon. Character, psychopath, so no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother her at all. She doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied in prison, or sold into slavery, uh, um, unless it affects her. She also feels no mood boost from socializing. So really what we've got going on here is if we were running a colony where these sort of things were normal, you know, we were butchering humans for, uh, uh, for, for food, making meals out of them, which gives everybody a huge negative uh, debuff. Vort here wouldn't get the negative at all. She'd be going along just fine, happy as could be. In fact, she might even get a boost from it. No, I guess bloodlust is one that gives you a boost from it. We saw Strange doing that. He was all excited when one of his friends got killed. Whereas Vort... Well, Vort is not going to get any negatives by having her friends killed in this raid. So, feeling bad in general is about it. Doesn't like being imprisoned, but has no remorse for the others. Whereas Tomislav, what do we have here? Tons of joy. Hmm. Ugly environment and dull barrack. Okay. After a while, if they're walking by all those dead, those dead bodies out there, they're going to start getting a lot of negatives from being around corpses and things like that. But I guess it hasn't hit them yet. And we won. So maybe that's part of a boost. I don't know. But Vort, we need to at least get going on healing. So health, we're set for uh, herbal medicine. We've got a pile of them sitting right here in Tomislav's bedroom. So Tomislav... How bad off are you? You're in great shape. You're going to immediately start healing. Now, back to Vort. Prisoner, 71% chance of uh, recruitment difficulty. Not too bad. Get into the 90s, it gets tough. But 60s, 70s, 80s, that's, that's doable. And the longer it takes, the more practice Klaus gets to get his, his skill up in, in social, which gives us a better price when we do any trading. So that's always a bonus there. Let's assume right now we're going to chat and recruit we may eventually release and say forget it when we do release factions you are part of the saber donkeys hmm that's a pirate group right factions saber donkeys a pirate group so we can't help this neg negative 96 hostile as far as i know at least it used to be that you couldn't so whether or not that's changed or not i don't know but generally the pirates are negative all the way forever it's the tribes and the outlander groups that we have the opportunity to uh, to change this number. If we re if we if they do a raid on us and we capture and yet show mercy and let their people go, if they get off the map safely, this will chip away 15 at a time until they're finally liking us, which gives us more people to trade with. So there's those possibilities. But for right now, Thomas Loblis resets you to not cloud watching. Really. Why are you not automatically taking care of Vort? That is really odd. Your work schedule. You are a doctor first. Okay. Well, RimWorld has changed their priority system. That's for sure. Because that is odd to me. That's not something that Alpha 13 would have ever done. So I'm going to have to manually tell you that, yes, Vort is worth working on. So you're going to do that. And... Hmm... 
I guess that is it at the moment. You're going to grab this, and we have no pathway through here. Interesting. No way to get through here easily. Well, we could do this. You would think that that would have been shorter. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. Huh. Don't have that answer. Who's chipping away? And where? And why? And how? Shantigo was tapping away. I marked these for mining, and I want to put a, a a stone cutting bench right here, so we can start turning this into stone and using that stone for some of the the parts over here. I've got wood walls sitting in that space right now until we get some stone to take its place. Um, all right, what is going on out here? You guys are probably not doing. You're playing horseshoes. Klaus is going for a walk. We must be at 1,400 hours. We're, yeah, we're still in that window. That's why Tomislav was insisting on on doing uh, some leisure. Interesting. So all of their jobs do not override leisure. Okay, that made that explained that. I uh, I uh, I take back what I said. Doctor Tomislav is still top notch, <laughs> even in Room World. Okay, so Vort, how are we doing? Health, we've got 53% uh, quality healing there. Not as good as before. 56%, 54%. Oh, it's herbal medicine. It's not the best stuff. Okay. Where are we on good quality medicine? I think we've been, we've been using up quite a bit. When we started at 50, we're still at 40. This would have taken, I don't know, five or six of them right then and there. So, kind of hesitant to have used the good stuff there. We may, in the end, have to do some some uh, uh, infection control. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But, Vort needs, still in pain. And, what we have your health. Very poor. Yeah, okay. That's what it's like to come against us in battle, I guess. That's the way we got to look at it. All right, speaking of coming against us in battle, we got these guys to deal with. We've done a lot of battle today, though. I'm tempted to wait until tomorrow. We're already at 4 p.m. Get a good night's rest. Probably smart. So Tomislav is not far away from taking care of his patient. That works over there. Sangria. All right, what was this? Sangria has just been inspired. She will walk 1.5 times faster for the next 24 hours. Okay. That's different, but fine. She will do that walking, chasing the uh, the animals around to tame them, and to do a bunch of hauling for us. So that's actually a pretty good deal on our on our half. All right. So Shantigo's taking these out. Can you um, let's work on this one first? What just happened there? Okay. Let's work on this one first. Thank you. No longer incapable of walking. Vort the scientist. Fort the scientist needs ah uh, not needs character because medicine is up there and intellectuals up there okay I guess I didn't really grasp what I was looking at here incapable of dumb labor social and plant work but can do a few things really well not great in the uh, defense department, but so isn't uh, Sangria, and yet she uh, she took down this one right here with a shot to the heart. <laughs> so I guess I guess you can't uh, you know ignore the uh, shooting ability of a three. She still still did the job. All right, I need to probably manually tell you guys to get to work here on things. There you go. Shantigo, let's do this one. Then you'll do these three. Handy, you are hauling component. You've got a good run speed. And we did get just one. And it's been used. Ah, okay. you got a good construction rate. If I send you there to get that done, you'll dig that out fast. Meanwhile, Klaus is over here talking to Amelia. And I've got one, two... Three bodies to get buried. So let's do that. And stop. Let's manually... Now this one actually contains nothing. Let's do one more. Your digging speed is pretty quick. There we go. Now I want you to make a run to the furthest one. You haul cannot. 
because I clicked the grave and not the handy. Right there. All right, you haul this guy in, and let's just get it done. Strip. No, none of them were wearing anything that was worth even salvaging. You're a handy. Try that again. Uh, 21 pants. Awful. Shoddy. 20%. Off, uh, not good. And 13%. Yeah, not going to worry about it. So, handy, you are back over here. Why don't you bury this one for me? Prioritize burying. Yep. Klaus, when you're done, we'll have you bury one. You're eating a meal. This apparently didn't go well, did it? Social. Uh, rejected the offer. Okay. So, Klaus, uh, you're doing some quick cleaning. Cool. <laughs> then I'm going to have you haul in this one. So, you bury this one. Bury La. And I need somebody else to work back into here and bury this one. Shantigo, I'd like to get that built. So, Sangria, as soon as you're done, you are f consuming a fine meal. Then I need you to actually, Sangria, burying a human corpse. The haulers do that. Got my answer. All right. That's that's good. Okay. Um, queue up hunting. Need to get meat in here so we can get some fine meals going. So let's take care of that real quick. Um, actually, I'll do it this way. I'm up here and you can hear the wind. I was thinking rain, but it's just wind. Then I'd go after boom wraps. But um, not going to happen. Squirrels. Still got the pig over here. Who's queued up? And queued up. Still got these to bring in. They are not refrigerated, but they don't... No, oh, thank you, Sangria. Appreciate that. I don't give any, any sense of... Uh, of them going bad. Rabbit is replanting and you are wandering. Tell you what, you'll automatically come back to replant, but let's get you to carry these in because the hard part is getting you to do that part. Who do we hunt? And why are they not automatically hunting? I've taken hunting down, haven't I? Uh, work, hunt. Klaus will hunt after he is done cleaning and Wardening, which means he's never going to hunt anymore. Let's take you down to a two. Rabbit will hunt when he is done growing and plant cutting, which the growing is now taken over. And I guess a two. Hmm. Time is it? 20? Let's, for right now, send them loose to do that. And see if we can get one shot in. Shantigo, you are digging at granite. Okay, Klaus is feeding Vort. Interesting. Because Klaus has medical turned on too. Yeah, as a four. I would think it'd be a doctor's prerogative right now because it's a patient. A patient would be over and above wardening. But maybe they go hand in hand. Maybe he will try to... Will he try to uh, convince Vort to uh, join the colony, even practically on her deathbed? I don't know. Rabbit is going off to hunt, and Klaus is attempting to recruit. All right. It's not going to happen. So, although that will get Vort's... Um, Vort, where are you at? It will get Vort's mood back up. Yeah... All right, I'm going to let you. Maybe, maybe we get the hunting done. There's, there's not a whole lot of them queued up, I don't think. Although there were a lot of rabbits. But get the hunting done, get meat into the freezer, and then they can go back to their other duties. Eh, we'll see. There's, unfortunately, we still have so few people and so many duties to do. It's hard to, to choose who gets to do what and what is the, the highest priority. Let's see if Rabbit can one-shot this one like you did... Uh, nope. Like you did... Uh, Oh. Henderson? Is that the name of the... Well, okay. Target's not moving anymore, but he's behind a rock. Rabbit, why don't you go to here? Uh, there. There. That rock is cover. Uh, there. There's a shot through. And then... Actually, just... We'll call this, uh... Fire at. We'll, we'll say we're, we're in military mode here. Instead of hunting. Hmm... Okay, we're shooting through a tree. I'll give you that. <laughs> it's 
also close. 2200. Let's do a couple more shots. Got it. All right. Undraft. Haul in. We're running? Yep. Yeah, we're going. Okay, that's done. Klaus, you are sleeping. Okay, tomorrow. All right. Then what is next? This is in. We need power. Power looks like what? And we need trees cut down, too. Uh, power. Conduit. We're not connected right there. Okay. So Handy will tackle that. Is the... Yeah, steel is in place. So that'll be one of her first jobs. She'll just head over to do everything that's got all the building materials already in place. All right. This got mined out. Let's put in a... What do I want here? Production table. Stone cutter's table. Out of wood. Why do I not see wood? It's down off the bottom of the screen, isn't it? That's odd. Anyway, you're right there. And, yep, we're outside, and we don't like that, but that'll be fine for now. Eventually, we'll move that indoors into a production area in, in the main base. Don't know what kind of a base we'll have in, in our second colony, assuming we do get to a second colony. I'm thinking this will be the, the mountain base. Maybe the next one will be more of an above-ground base. We can see two different kinds, or maybe a combination, partially in a mountain, and, you know, take a an alcove or, or whatever you'd call this, of, and... Uh, clip it off and build into the mountain and build out of the mountain. Something like that. Something so the two colonies have their own distinct personalities. But that's that's a long ways away. That's episode 50, 60. Don't know. Um, you're there. Chopping. We've got these already set. Plant cut, which we took rabbit off of. Yeah, no matter what we do, we're going to lose here. Huh. Boy, there's going to be no more construction going on filling in voids and walls and doors and things until the wood comes in. But we're going to be living on simple meals and no, you know, bonus of five for a fine meal um, as soon as that, that group of 20 that we found up there runs out. And that five right now would be nice to have on everybody, including prisoners. So we get them those meals too. Hmm. So a lot of micromanaging to do when there's so few people. That's for sure. But this is the next day's job before another raid or something drops in on us. You are what? Mega Scarab Insect Jelly. Okay. One, two, maybe three. Various. Don't know if that's two or three in there. One, two, three, four, five. I think six, seven, eight are all sitting there. Now, I don't know if they have chipped away at more of this or not. This already went this way to an extent. I don't know how far it went. So, can we assume that they made this cave system? Or they just live in this cave system and it's a natural occurrence? Don't know. Still have these guys over here. And still non-reproductive. Okay. All right, then. Back to my list. Um, I know something I was going to tell you about. Kathra, who who uh, leaves comments under all these videos, she's now got her own RimWorld series going on her YouTube channel. So you might find her name in the uh, the comments under this or the previous episode and, and click on it and go to her channel and take a look. She's she's also tackling a, uh, a RimWorld colony. She's in more of a... Was that... I want to say jungle, but uh, what does that mean? Not temperate. Temperate forest? There's the forest... Uh, I can't. There's two different forests. I can't remember the name of the other one. This, I think, is temperate forest. So whichever one means gobs of trees and elephants, that's that's where she's at right now. So if you want to see a, a different take on RimWorld, that will be it. You've already got 75 potatoes. You get a lot of potatoes. A lot of potatoes. We've got a lot of bulk food out of a potato crop, which means you're only going to pick up two or three of these before you've got your 75. There's 56 just in that clump right there. So it takes a lot to haul all this stuff in. We have to have them manually haul everything in. Did everybody get buried over here? Yeah, we have three graves. Click on a grave. Contains Henderson. Defector. Dead. Yep. What do we have here? That's the stats on the grave. Okay. So Henderson and Strange and... Law are buried over here. Now, 
if you have a run-in with a faction and they are buried on your map and their elders come walking through in a caravan and they see it, they react to it. It's quite often negatively. So it's something to, to keep in mind. Though roleplay wise, we're gonna put this where it can be seen. So others coming in, they've got to pass through the graveyard to come in and attack us. <laughs> and realize this is what's gonna to happen to you. All right, so Handy is putting all this stuff in. We've got power into here. We've got a comm system now. All right, so when we get the uh, uh, miscellaneous, get the orbital trade beacon somewhere. And really, it needs to go in your storage, which is up here, but we don't have any power up here to run it. So it doesn't do us any good. Though I could put just a solar panel and a battery in and run it. So we And we do have something to sell, though it would give us the opportunity to buy things like medicine. You know, that's probably a pretty good idea. So let's just do something like that. Drop you in there. What is our cheapest source of power? We've also got a generator. Wood-fueled generator. 100 steel. Wood-fired. Uh, 100 steel and two components. This guy, 100 steel and three components. So basically the same. This will cost us wood, and we do have lots of trees in the, in the, on the map. Sangria successfully tamed an alpaca. All right. We've got an alpaca. We've got to, let's come back to that. Um, she's up here somewhere, right? Actually, that alpaca was down low last I saw. Pause. Where are you, Sangria? You are... You, are, you went around. Okay. Where is alpaca? Right there. So, alpaca one. Animals. Alpaca one, you are officially part of the alpaca grazing zone. Okay. And... We could train to, for obedience, and release to go and attack. Sangra, you let me know if there's any advantage to that. I don't see any advantage to training for obedience. Um, which allows you to assign a master to follow and defend. So you let me know if that's a thing or if we just need to expand this... Uh, this, this uh, where are we at here? Animals. Right there how big we want the grazing zone it's not a, there's a lot more dirt than grass out here so that's a problem and i'm thinking eventually maybe putting some kind of a barn over here though it's going to need power also with a heater won't it at least the chickens and rabbits need a heater do the yeah the pack probably don't need a heater they, they are they're a walking heater they got all their fur on them already so they probably don't need a heater to get through winter but some kind of a barn well that's the graveyard but with uh, near that zone and, in fact, if we get the trees out of here, we'll get more grass growing, won't we? Hmm. Gotta take these trees out anyway. But we have an alpaca now. All right. And how is Sienna doing for training? She was getting close. Seven of seven. Okay. Let's reset Sienna to Handy, whom she has a bond with. And let's verify that Ham. Sienna. Ham. Okay. Animals. Ham. He's still got a ways to go. Okay, so he's still attached to, uh, to Sangria. All right, so, and also, just to verify, the animals are not set to follow their master when working or when drafted. So that Sienna now has the ability to randomly haul things as she wishes. Which she wasn't, she's assigned to Sangria and wasn't following her anyway. So... That's interesting. Anyway, we needed to continue working on hunting so we can get that done. I see Shantigo's getting a lot of things done here. We need to get this going. I think it probably is time to do that. This Get it done this episode before the next raid hits. I'm going to, well, next event hits. It doesn't have to be a raid. It could be a mad herd of something coming in to attack us, which we still don't have our wall up in our defenses. Or it could be a blight, or it could be an acid rain that comes down, and if we walk through it, we start to get sick. And we lose all of our crops, and it's just, it's horrible stuff. We'll be out here quickly building roofs over everything, and which, of course, stops the growing, but we could at least then safely harvest everything and weather it out. But there's a lot of different events and disasters that that uh, are potentially ahead of us and I don't want those stacked on top of this 
So this needs to be done. How best to make it done? The plan last time. Let's let's do a roll call. That's what I used to do in Alpha 13. How are our needs? Food is good. Food is not good on Rabbit. Rabbit, you are right here. You're eating. Good. That's being taken care of. You don't want to start a raid with somebody who's started to go into urgently hungry and extreme hunger and um, you know big negatives and starting to break and and all that. So you want to kind of get a sense of who's doing what. Sangria is training ham. Sangria, you come grab a good meal and get that done so we can use your your revolver. And anybody else? That was everything back to rabbit again. All right, so let these guys eat, and then let's think about getting uh, everybody into position to take th these guys out. And what I'm thinking, Handy can run faster than all of them. I'm going to sneak Handy down and take a shot and then run her out of here. Everybody else in position to start blasting away at them. And we'll see if they are willing to go this far before they give up and turn around and go back. If not, then we're going to have to do this in stages, I guess. But Shantigo's doing a good job of cleaning this out. And, okay, last one. By then, Sangria should be done eating. Klaus is feeding Vort. That's good. Needs. Food is now coming up. Otherwise, okay, Shantigo's done. That takes you only to here. So, Klaus, you are taking a fine meal. Okay. I wonder if you're going to do one more session of, of talking there. Otherwise, health. Whoa. Everything is healed, including the... No, that's Klaus. There we go. That's what I expected to see. So we're still healing. Nose is bandaged and possibly healable. Okay. So we got 90% uh, quality bandages over here. And on the leg, that's a... F I see. 92% quality, 90% quality, and 56% quality. On all of the damage done to that poor left leg. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, Sangria, have you eaten? You have, and you are training ham. You want so much to train ham, but I'm going to change that plan. At least I'm going to... Rabbit, what are you doing? You're hunting a hare. You're finally hunting. And now I need you over here. Okay. So you're the only one that's out there. And Sangria, you keep hunting while I get Rabbit into position of a straight shot in from there. Okay, Rabbit, you're heading there. Handy, you're going to make the run. You are hauling steel to the orbital beacon. That's going to take you a while to... Yeah, we'll see. Maybe just drop it off and come back. Otherwise, Trontigo, you are digging at marble. You're actually just where I want you to be. Okay, Klaus, you are taking a fine meal. What was going to happen after that? Are you going to go talk to the prisoner again? You're hunting a turkey. You have got an assault rifle. I want you drafted and right over here. All right. So, Chantigo, eventually you're going to be drafted and head over to here with Tomislav. So, actually, ah, look at that. Sienna is hauling in. Some potatoes. That is so nice when you see that happening. Handy, you are building the orbital beacon. Okay, I'll let you do that. Then we're going to pull away from there. All right, you are building a grave. Time for you to draft and get ready for your run. Shantigo, you're going to draft and get into position about here. And Tomislav, you're going to draft and get into position about here. Sienna and Ham, you guys, animals, are going to drop into the safe zone. Right there. All right, what else do we have? Um, what am I missing? Sangria. That's what I'm missing. Where did you go? You're over here. You are hauling potatoes. Now I'm going to have you just drop that. You've got the... What is your range? Uh, don't fire it, Will. Right there. Your range is there. So you could be in this position. You can be with Klaus. Right there. So, Rabbit, you're going to potentially shoot right through these guys. I don't like that. You're heading to here. Gives you a straight shot in. I don't think you could stray far enough to harm them. I really don't. But let's go one more step over. <laughs> you're a rice plant. No, no, no. 
You're there, right there. All right, straight into there. Handy is about ready to make her run. She's got, she's got a no. I've got ram, a rabbit picked. She's got an assault rifle. Okay. All right. This is where you hit the uh, the save button, isn't it? You five are going to going to do what? You're going to shoot Handy on your way out, aren't you? Hmm. Okay, when you run, you're going to come through, and I'm going to sh I'm going to track you to go over here and around and in this way. These guys could also come around and go in this way too, so we're going to have to keep this fluid. This one could could go south on us pretty easy. Now, are you guys going to trigger from a proximity, or are you going to wait until you're shot at? Do you know that she's there? Not yet, but you will real soon. Okay, folks, this is where it gets pretty crazy. Gotcha. Handy. I want you here, and then here, and then there. Okay. Now let's watch what happens. I got all of you. I really do. <laughs> okay. What could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> All right, are you all going to keep tracking her? Boy, they're getting closer, too. All right, make the turn. Although, they're going to follow you this way, aren't they? Maybe you guys can get a shot off. Um, I can't move you guys over because Rabbit will tag you. We're going to have to repair our solar panel, aren't we? Yeah. Let's get you guys into position a little further back. And handy, we'll just keep watching you. All right, you guys went that way. Good. And I guess we'll just try to watch everyone. Let me zoom in a little bit more so everyone can see who's shooting what and how. Okay, one is down. This guy went this way. This guy's tracking after Handy. Boom. That that revolver, I tell you. Okay. The longest cooldown time is Rabbit. But it's going to be time soon to get these guys moving. Handy's heading into there. And she's got a fast shooter, too. Don't want to delay her too long, but I think i got to get you guys out of here. So you guys rush to where? They have a faster run speed. They really do. Let's get you guys out to there. Let's just get... Well, boy, I hate to do that. Because they're going to catch them before they get there. They're going to run across and slow into the water while Rabbit's trying to shoot them. I need to get them to shoot again real soon. All right, just go there and then turn around and shoot. While these guys hopefully start picking them off. Like that. If we can take out some legs and things, that'll slow them down. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you guys up to here. Oh, Tomislav's hit. He's down. Okay, colonist needs. What do we got going on here? Tomislav. And health. What do they do? He's got a bite to the head and a couple bites to the torso. Hmm. Not good. And oh, they're all zoom. One, two, three, four, five of them want to want to eat him. Okay, you're dead. You're slowly tracking somebody. Handy. We're fine taking them out as long as nobody shoots Tomislav. So Shantigo, head over here. Tomislav, I need you to head over here. And all of you guys start taking them out as you go. Come on, Tomislav! Come on, Tomislav! Go! He's down. Colonist needs rescue. Okay. Once he's down, they will no longer be attacking him. How bad is it? How bad is our doctor? Health. So we've got right leg, a bruise, a cut, a bite. Shoulder, a cut. These are all bites and cuts. They're, they're not bad things. But we do have a lot of bleeding going on, though. So... Rescue, rescue. Ham was set to rescue, wasn't he? Uh, training, rescue is enabled. Let's give this a try. Ham, how do we do this? Right click on Tomislav. No, I uh, need to take you out of this zone. So Ham, you're unrestricted. Can you... Do you just do it automatically then? I've never actually used rescue. 
one last time. Retriever training rescue. Animal will rescue wounded allies and drag them to safety. Cool. Hopefully we don't lose a ham in the process, but apparently he is going to do it on his own. Because I am not getting any sense of the ability to tell him to. Now these guys should all turn and go after somebody else, like Shantigo. So let's send him this way. There we go. Don't shoot Thomas, Slav. Okay, Rabbit, you've got a long cooldown period. I need you over here. I need you over here to go over here to go over there. Okay, Chantigo, you can get over here and get a shot before you... And actually, right there. That'll give you a quick run out of there. They're going to zoom in on these guys, actually. Now, at this point, they're all going after one of these two. And there's no way for them to stop and do anything else. You guys go there, then go there, and then go here. Let these guys continue to shoot as long as they're doing that. Ham, where are you? Ham is wandering, so he hasn't got the command yet to go and rescue Tomislav. Tomislav is downed health. We didn't add any gunshots. No. So he has 9.5 hours yet to have the bleeding stopped and get taken care of. Okay, another one's down, and we've shifted. You guys make a run for it. And you guys, Rabbit, you continue with Shantigo. You stop right there and take a take a shot. Handy, you're red. Did we miss something? Oh, there was an attack on Handy. I didn't even see it. Health, you got. That's a mega scarab. Ha! <laughs> Handy, gunshot with an assault rifle on your right leg. Ouch! Assault rifle. Assault rifle. Klaus, did you shoot Handy? <laughs> or did Handy shoot herself trying to get this thing right here? Hmm. I didn't see that happen. Darn, I missed that one. Okay, well, at least he's downed. Now, these guys... Actually, you'll tell me, won't you? You're going after Klaus? You're going after Klaus. You're going after Shantigo. You're dead. Okay, so Klaus is the new target. All right, click out of there. Klaus... You take a run. You have a run speed still of 4.58. These guys have a run speed of 4.3. And these guys have a run speed of... He's injured. Okay. So, it's just, come on. It's just coming down to this guy right here who is dead. So, you cannot run him. So, Klaus, let's send you out of their fire. Uh, go to here. And then just start working your way around in a circle. Okay. There was one going after Rabbit. Klaus, you're going... Oh, Shantigo. And Klaus. Okay, Shantigo, you're right here. I need you to kind of do the same thing. You're going to go here and like that. And we'll reevaluate you there. And Handy is going to continue shooting. Shantigo is going to continue shooting. Rabbit... The cooldown is so long on that thing. You are... I can't tell who's who here. Alright, you're gonna... I think... Well, we'll see what happens here. Okay. Klaus, you didn't run. Cued moving. Oh, still a cooldown. Now you go. Someone shot Klaus. Alright, Klaus is in trouble now. Not hay grass. Klaus. Not growing. Pure, uh, okay. Health. Wow. Cuts. Left ring finger has been cut. Pretty badly, too. Uh, we're we're going to be in rough shape on this now. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Come on, guys. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. Oh, man, what a mess. Okay. We didn't lose anybody, but normally it doesn't go this bad. All right, let's... I can't... I can do that. Undraft everybody. Ham, you didn't go and rescue. There must be something about that that I don't know, because you're still wandering. And, well, let's... Let's unrestrict 
Sienna as well. And I wonder if we should sit here for rescue as, or trainer for that as well. Rabbit, you are hunting a turkey. No, 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 no. Okay. Tomislav, downed. Klaus, resting. Sangria, I need you to rescue Tomislav. Let's see here. We're going to have to do something different here. We're going to set this for hospital. Need colonist bed. Yep, I know. And we're going to set... Let's see. Who's injured? Handy's injured. Let's set yours for hospital. And Klaus is injured. Set yours for hospital. And between all of that, everybody should be covered. Okay, so Sangria, I need you to rescue. Let's do that over again. So that it makes sure to take you to a hospital bed. And... Handy will already head to a bed to be rescued, to, to be healed. Who was our backup doctor? Do we have one? We have one over here that's still a prisoner. Otherwise, work, doctor, our best one is Rabbit. Who's still in good shape, right? Yeah, so Rabbit, you are work. I'm going to get rid of your hunt command. And I guess give you a number one on, on uh, doctoring at the moment. Otherwise, reset you, and you'll... Yeah, you still have nothing to do until then. Just need to stall you for a little bit. Can you haul in some potatoes? While everybody's getting... As soon as somebody gets into a, a hospital bed, then he'll get the command to go and help someone. So we get these in while we're stalling. And we need to unforbid that one and get it hauled in. That's the only one that's down. Okay. All right, first one to hit a bed, Tomislav. Okay, I need Rabbit. Drop that and go grab the good medicine and tend to Tomislav for me. Okay. And Handy's in bed, so you're going to work on her next. Who was the, the worst condition? Health. We've got 200, well, we have 8.5 hours. Klaus, 17 hours. Handy, not an immediate danger. Okay. Um, two gunshots wounds though so not, we're not gonna just ignore that otherwise Shantigo can you do me a favor and you're not a yeah you are I never set any bills I did but your creature creature do forever we have a creature I right clicked and nothing happened there what did I miss Shantigo I said it so you couldn't use it I said and when I did that I said but what happens if we run out of meat and he's the only one available to do the job. Okay, so details on it. I'm going to have to open it up for Shantigo to be able to do the butchering too. Now we can get some meals cooked. Some better quality ones. So go ahead and do that job. Rabbit, you are going after medicine. Um, sangria. Well, I can't do it right now. I'm going to have you haul in the rest of the medicine so it's already over here. But there's already one person going for that stack. So until Rabbit actually gets there and picks it up, I don't have access to it. There. Sangria, I need you to haul in the medicine. We'll get it over here. Rabbit's going to take care of Tomislav. Then we'll see who he goes to. The one closest in proximity or the one most urgent, urgently needed in care. I don't know which that's going to be. Whoa. No longer inspired. Okay. Sangria is no longer running along now. No longer at a, at a constant sprint. Oh, what an episode. <laughs> well, that's done. We'll get all healed up. Hopefully there's no permanent damage to anybody. And uh, Rabbit is working over here. And then we'll get on to our normal, normally uh, um, scheduled programming. All right, 7.4 hours left. That should increase as healing gets done. That's some good healing, too. 100%, 88%. Okay, no longer capable of walking. All right, we're taking care of him. Good job. I was going to say we'll have Tomislav limp over and do the rest because his skill is higher, but Rabbit is doing a doing a good job there. I think it's because he's, he's using the best medicine, so that, that aids in the, the chances. Otherwise, I guess let's pull out a little bit, set... Well, I was going to set you guys to hunt, but that didn't really work. Try that again. You, there is no hunt. 
just downed. Okay, I'm going to ignore them for now. As they die, then they'll be hauled in to be butchered. You are dead. Okay. Um, Sangria is doing the hauling. I want to keep an eye on Tomislav here. Health. Doing okay. Whoa, mad animal. There's our next event. Who, where, how, and what, and why, and all those great things. A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone that it sees. Head over here. Jump to location. You are up in there. You have gone rabbit or some weird little disease that's part of this planet, and you are on the move. Tag you to hunt. Because quite often, these little guys, while he's taking his time to go across the whole map, you go over here and do other things, and you go back, and where was he? Well, there's something moving. You just kind of don't see him anymore. But with that little circle on him, I have lost him. Boy, I've lost him. Then you should be able to find him, but nope, that doesn't work. There? No? Where'd he go? He's not over here already. No. I need to know who he's going after. He wasn't here. He would have come out of here. He would be over here by now. Oh, he's an invisible little thing. He came out of here, right? I did see that right. Or did I? Did he come out of here? Oh, I don't see him. I just heard him, though. But I don't see him. Amelia's not in danger. I don't think I can go through a door. I can't click anymore to go track him down. That's one thing I've kind of forgot about. I usually don't click on that until we've gotten to the point where I can't find him anymore. Then I can click and it will relocate him for me. But I am not seeing a scroll with a little red mark on him anymore. I don't know which pathway he's going to take to come in. If he came out of where I thought, then as fast as he's running, he should be in this area already. Not there. So let's just take our time, kind of work through. He'll be moving at a pretty good rate of speed. We should see him buzzing along the map every time I unpause it. Like that speed there. No. There. Gotcha. You... Are moving. Yeah. Don't let him out of your sight. So you're coming all the way down into here. And you're not going to change your mind. Oh, 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 oh. Changed your mind. What are you doing? You're trying to... You've got a sense there's a, there's a people over here. And it's driving you nuts. And you can't get in there. And and you don't know which way to go. Which is the fastest route. And and I... Nope, nope. You changed your mind again. Okay, we're going to have to go hunt you. No way around that. Rabbit, what did you do? You chose Klaus next, and he was the next uh, uh, dire condition. Okay, we'll work with that. Tomislav, in this case, I'm going to set you to be patient and let you just get the bed rest in. That will limit the possibility of infection. Got great medicine going on there. Klaus, you do too. How is this one doing, Vort, for infection? No hint of it yet. So I think we're still fine there. Uh, needs, your food is fine. Your beauty is horrible. Yeah, don't blame you. Let's go ahead while I'm here and just set up some, some flooring through there. And not much else I can do other than clean it. Okay. Um, and this is temporary, so I'm not going to go through and mine out the walls and put them in wood. Anyway, Handy is going to be taken care of next, and your health is no immediate danger. Slow bleed rate, though you are in pain, obviously. A uh, little pain, not too bad. She's tough. A couple of gunshot wounds, and she's okay. No problem. Shantiko's hauling that in. All right, so who are we going to get out there to do some shooting? Rabbit and Klaus are my shooters. So Shantigo, you're kind of it. kind of think you are. Where did that medicine go? The medicine went right there. Okay. Shantigo, I need you to go hunting. A squirrel's run speed is what? Where'd you go? You're over in this area somewhere. Right there. Your run speed is six. Wow. Squirrels are quick. That's a problem. Shantigo has a shooting skill of six and no passion. Am I remembering that right? Yeah. There's a good chance 
He can, uh, you got not enough melee either, because he's going to catch you, and you're not going to be able to shoot, and you're just going to be punching at it. That's not a good scenario. Rabbit's the one that needs to deal with that. So, Klaus, how you doing? Are we, we're about done. I think Rabbit's going to have to deal with this, but he needs a real weapon. He needs an assault rifle. Handy, let's have you drop your assault rifle. Gear, and drop. Okay, and Rabbit... Though I need to be watching this guy, make sure he doesn't uh, escape. There. He's still over here. Alright, Rabbit, you done? Almost. Get that little bar done. And boom. You are now grabbing medicine to go take care of Handy. I need you instead to grab this rifle. That is assault rifle. Do that. Drop off your... your uh, there you are. Drop off your sniper. And with this, we'll have to call this episode done, because it is definitely getting long. I really don't want these to be hour-long episodes, but that's what they're turning into each time, because it is so hard to turn this game off. Okay, you have got it. I need you over here in a draft, and head to this direction. I'm assuming in this direction. Do we send him this way? As soon as I send him this way, the squirrel's going to go this way, isn't he? Well, okay, rabbit. You are heading this way. Okay. We'll watch the squirrel from here while you're on your way. Pretty soon, the squirrel's going to get the command that there's a human out in the open somewhere nearby. And it's going to go after him. Pretty soon, he's going to lock on to him. I think it's happened. Nope. It's still random. Okay. Rabbit, head up higher. At some point, the squirrel's going to get a new order. Okay. Rabbit, your radius is there. What's squirrel doing? I think he's... He wants Amelia. That's what's going on. He really wants Amelia. I think he can sense that she's in there, but he has no way to get in. All right. Now what have we got? You should get a command to fire right now. Attacking Rabbit. Okay, Rabbit, you gotta make this happen. You gotta make it happen. One more. Okay. Scroll did slow, though. So the scroll got shot in a leg. Right rear leg. Running speed now is... Four. Rabbit, you can't outrun it. It's gonna follow you no matter what. Head all the way into here. That should give you enough time to get ahead of it. Oh, 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 oh. Now a rabbit has been injured in the leg, and now his run speed is slow. Unbelievable. What an episode. Shantigo, need your help. Draft, get up here and don't shoot rabbit. And who's left? Sangria. Draft, get up here and don't shoot rabbit. Rabbit, your run speed has dropped all the way down. No, 4.8. Wait a minute, maybe... Okay. We're still we're still running. Okay, your health, you got a bite in the right arm. Okay, Sangria, you stop right there. Shantigo, you stop right there. Rabbit, you go long. Now, when is this guy going to grab a new target? He's not. <laughs> okay, Rabbit, you're going there, and then you are coming back over to here. And you guys reposition, well, as soon as you're out of range. Okay, reposition to here. You can access them through most of that run. Sienna's helping by hauling the sniper rifle back to the stockpile. Thanks, Sienna. Okay, nobody shoot Rabbit. Don't you shoot Rabbit. Don't you shoot, Rabbit. Come on, somebody. Thank you. <laughs> Can this episode get any crazier? Rabbit, I need you to tend to handy before you do anything else. Right there. What did I do there? Consuming fine meal. No, 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 no. Well... What happened there? What did I click? Rabbit, I thought I did. I did. Okay, handy. 
Um, rest until healed. Rabbit. There we go. Rest until healed. I can't get you to heal handy. I click the bed. There we go. No, I, it's not giving me the bed. Maybe I need to let it run for a second. Now, rabbit. I can't make that work. Tomislav is left, though. He is getting a fine meal. Nobody fed them. Okay, handy. Ah, Tomislav. As soon as you're done with that. Handy is probably really hungry. Not super bad. Rabbit's gone back to a hospital bed. Okay. And Tomislav... Now, there is an option I haven't brought up. I could have had Tomislav self-tend. He could have healed himself. Though not when he was unconscious, so that would not have worked. But colonists will self-mend um, automatically tend to themselves on, on the spot at 70% the normal efficiency. So, if, you know... Uh, Tomislav is a doctor of 11. If our best doctor other than him was a 3, then it would have been better to have Tomislav heal himself. 70% of 11 is far better than he was going to get from a 3. But in this case, Rabbit is decent, right? Where is Rabbit? Rabbit is, an, is a 5. Did a really good work for a 5. Anyway, Tomislav just kind of waiting this out here. He's eating really slow. Probably has an injury to something that would cause that. Now, you're tending to Rabbit. Let's... Really? Rabbit is closer. Uh, health. No immediate danger. 3.6%. And Handy. What did I miss? Apparently, Tomislav healed Handy. Ignored the order to be a patient. Went and healed Handy. He said, heck with this. I'm going to do my job. Okay. Uh, you guys do what you want. You're, you got this down better than I do. So with that, I guess, I guess I'm guess i going to call it a day. Boy, what a long day it was. We're clear here now. We can get to digging our base. And we need to heal everybody up. So still don't have Amelia. And yep. So back to the general craziness that is RimWorld. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.